disclosure and uh, we need to to be careful with the disclosure uh, there is a high risk uh, with the trading uh, I apologize today we had some internet problem uh, which uh, caused us a little delay and um, we will be uh, covering the market For the ones who just uh, join us uh, today, um, this is the first time. Uh, what we are doing, we are sharing uh, our signal. You're very welcome uh, to copy uh, the signals. Uh, the entry signal, it will be on the first column, and then the, the direction, and then the entry, the target. As an example, you have 68, 2868 on the ES, and uh, uh, the target is uh, 2863, which uh, did hit the target. And um, so total from that target is uh, uh, 48 ticks from the signal, and then uh, the total PNL uh, for that trade. I'm sorry I had, uh, uh, for this uh, little delay, I had uh, an internet problem and uh, now the internet is back so i lost all my automated trade and now they are back on um so all the uh i did not activate the auto trades all what i have right now is uh, those two and they need to be closed uh, those two trades and uh, we restart uh, the swing trading uh and um, because those uh, that were mine uh, the same story here on the market analyzer for the Forex. Uh, it is a entry signal by uh, the, the target, re-entry target. And uh, this one here, it is the chart is with the three different automated base from the market analyzer. You have an, uh, an ATM strategy and a fully automated. And uh, you have um, um, an ATM strategy, ATM and an ATM, uh, full automated trade based on those uh, entry signals. And uh, then uh, we have the scalpers here uh, on the 150 ticks. And uh, we normally use the one minute and the 150 ticks. And uh, those the only time frame we use for those market. Uh, uh, right now, uh, today, actually, we had a beautiful run on the DAX, but I was forced to close all my position because of the net, and I don't have the uh, the swing trading on uh, because uh, all of a sudden I lost all the internet, and then uh, we all have experienced that once in a while. Uh, at the moment, we have uh, 529 ticks based from the last entry signal. It's not the all day long. It is based from the last entry signal. And uh, we have uh, on the NASDAQ 185 ticks. And on the YM, we have 122 ticks and uh, 13 ticks based from the last entry signal. Uh, and then uh, 69 ticks on the CL. And then the Russell is going south. Gold is going south. And we had a beautiful runs early this morning on the DAX with the automated to trade actually, but uh, I had to flatten everything out and uh, we need to go ahead and reactivate the, uh, the, uh, the swing trading. Uh, during this time here, I will try to, what we do here, if you wanna follow those signal at your own risk, you're very welcome to it. But what we are trying uh, to do every single day uh, to analyze uh, the, the market analyzer is based on one minute and the auto trade is based on the one minute. But what we are trying to do, analyze uh, this market and trying to predict where is the uh, border for that. And when it is a chop market, especially for those guys that want to auto trade and they do not have the knowledge uh, to um, um, to know or to see if this market um, uh, going into chop as an example here this area when this market goes into a chop this is where you do not need to trade or you do not need to auto trade 
uh, trade. Uh, sadly, there is a lot of traders that can uh, brush off those area here, and they usually bump into problems. Uh, and uh, those problems you have to be aware of. Uh, as an example, we have a breakout now on the EAS and it's doing extremely fine. But when this market get in or dive in, uh, and that is going to happen to an EAS, NASDAQ, Dow Jones, DAX, whatever, this is a problem. Uh, and if you are starting your auto trade, uh, doing the chop area, uh, that is going to chop your account. Absolutely, there is no way the auto trade is going to be able to build out of those problems. There is some auto trades, it will wind up in disasters, but this is a really, really uh, very serious area uh, that you need to wait a few more minutes uh, before you can take that trade. And uh, uh, sometimes you have to wait five or 10 or 15 minutes. And then you say, okay, now we are out of the chop or we're fixing to break out and now it's okay to trade. Uh, there is nothing called in the trading, you know, 9.30 or 9.35 or 7 o'clock or 8 o'clock because uh, every day is a different day. Uh, there is nothing called tomorrow is going to be the NASDAQ and the day after tomorrow is going to be the ES. Uh, this is, is going, we don't know tomorrow uh, if uh, the NASDAQ going to get in chop or the ES. So it is very important for those traders uh, to look at this market uh, before they start trading or auto trading and not to just concentrating uh, on a, just a small area. You need to look at the market uh, in the wide range, actually, uh, to see what is, what is going on in this market today before I start sinking into uh, trouble. And if you don't do that, you're going to stay in trouble for the rest of your life. Uh, you cannot just say this is the auto trade problem, whether this auto trade from us or somebody else. No, sir, the problem is yours. It's not the auto trade problem because in those area here, your auto trade is going to lose money. Some of the auto trades, they're going to be blowing a lot of accounts. And some of the auto traders, they're not going to be making money. They're going to stay in the circle. But this is the difference where you need to make a decision where you need to purchase your auto trade from. But Either or either way, you still need to look at this market before you go ahead and put your money uh, on a round table, uh, like when you are going to Las Vegas. Uh, as an example, we do not hide anything. We show the good days and the bad days. As an example today, uh, we are struggling on the 150 takes with the scalping. Uh, it is uh, flat and we have the 30 year treasury bond is a flat. And the, uh, um, uh, this is an A scalper and a B scalper. Uh, both one, the B scalper is, uh, uh, is, uh, is a base on a reversal and the A scalper is a base on trading uh, with a, a pullback re-entry. Uh, so uh, on the chop days where the B scalper uh, can uh, uh, really do a good job and the B scalper is actually uh, for a flat market like overnight or two, three hours uh, before the market is open. Uh, it is a very good uh, system to use. And if this market is trending, uh, then it will be very good to start using the A scalper. So those two, you cannot say, I want to use one pair or leave the other one. Uh, it is very important to have in 2018 uh, the... Uh, to look at the market and decide today if we want to swing trading or we want to we want to scalp the market or we want to you know is it a chop market or is it trending market if you don't do that you cannot just take one auto trade uh, and uh, wave with it every single day as an example we have covered uh, last week uh, that i do not recommend uh, uh, swing trading on Monday, which Monday was good. And even as an example on uh, Monday, this is yesterday uh, on the DAX. Uh, because uh, for the ones has been following me, I've been covering every day the DAX and today made it the DAX, but uh, I was forced to close everything down. Um, 
uh, yesterday, uh, the DAX made the, uh, the target, which we have talked about it, that if once you hit your daily target 2000, you should not be trading uh, the whole week and then try to protect your uh, target. If you hit the DAX 2000, then you should not be trading the rest of the week. You can be on the sim, but if you can manage to keep the $2,000 profit on the DAX, uh, then stop trading. Uh, the DAX for the rest of the week, that is going to build up uh, that 2,000 a week, that's 8,000 uh, a month. However, if you started on Monday uh, and then the DAX didn't make it, then now you are in a very long week. In other words, uh, if let's say on Monday didn't work the, the DAX and didn't make the 2,000, then um, Tuesday you need to activate your auto trade on the DAX to recover what happened the day before. And then on Wednesday, you start fresh again. So uh, it is, uh, that's why I prefer, or I recommend uh, that, um, uh, that if you wanna, let's say, trade the DAX on a swing trading, I don't wanna uh, test my luck uh, on Monday. I prefer to uh, go straight forward on Tuesday and skip Monday and then I have better chance on Monday. If the market is moving, I will hit my target and lock it for the whole rest of the week. So right now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and start reactivating uh, the auto trade. Uh, I'm sorry guys, today I have, I was uh, right before we need to start uh, the, uh, the life, uh, I lost uh, all connection uh, with, um, with it. So. We will try uh, to skip today uh, the uh, the swing trading, and uh, tomorrow we will um, we will um, uh, cover the swing trading absolutely. Um, So now we have uh, activated the full automated from the the swing uh, the price action, and then uh, we will uh, uh, try to wait on a new signal, and then we will take a new signal. Uh, once we have the new signal, you will see it on the first column here, and uh, we will uh, cover it uh, as as we go with it. Um, so it's a very straightforward uh, right now. Uh, we are just waiting on a new signal and uh, we will get a new signal very soon. Uh, today was a beautiful run earlier uh, in the European market, but then the market died out uh, two, three hours before. And now we are trying to uh, go back to the trading again. So, Uh, let's look at the NASDAQ and uh, cover the NASDAQ. If we can find an entry, uh, I will be uh, calling those entries for you. As long as you follow us on the SEM at your own risk, uh, I always try uh, sometimes to get some of the uh, trade for those guys. Uh, for the NASDAQ, we've been uh, covering the NASDAQ a lot on that system. Uh, it is very, very affordable uh, on the NASDAQ and uh, uh, they are amazing. Uh, uh, it's been very consistent on the, on the NASDAQ and uh, the average on the NASDAQ based on the one minute. 
uh, is uh, around 9.30 uh, when the markets open. It's not unusual to see 80 or 90 ticks in uh, the NASDAQ trade. So, We just waiting on a new signal so we can cover uh, a new signal and I will call it for you once we have the new signal. On the NASDAQ, we need to, if we look at the NASDAQ at the clean area, uh, this is your one minute NASDAQ. We have a double resistance exactly as supposed to be. And now we are coming on the uh, 451 and we will try to see if we can re-enter the market at uh, 452. You're very welcome to follow me on the sim with that. So I'm keeping my eye as an entry uh, for the NASDAQ at, uh, uh, at uh, a limited order on a buy for 4.52. Please follow me on the sim with it. So we'll make sure that uh, uh, the so we're keeping our eye on the uh, on the Nasdaq at uh, fifty two level. And uh, we will see what will happen uh, to the projection as well. 
but uh, this is right now the only uh, entry I can find on the NASDAQ. So we will, uh, we will keep our eye on that. And um, we have activated the, I'm not gonna be activating today the, uh, the swing trading, but uh, we have activate, uh, activated the price action. So we're waiting on a new signal on the price action, and then we can notify on that. Also, you can do that. You can follow uh, the, the trend when the scalper taking those trades, you are very welcome uh, to follow uh those trades as well uh mm -hmm. they are uh you know you can practice on them as well that will give you direction uh, to that trade Okay, the NASDAQ is coming down to this uh, and uh, to this one here. And uh, you're very welcome to follow on a sim. And it is a 52 level. Buying at 52. Please follow on the sim. I think I'm having a problem with NT8. It's not. Hmm. I don't know. Okay, 52 entry by. You're very welcome to follow on a sim with it. Look like the DAX took a new entry. Let me see. <laughs> the NT8 won't let me go from one to another chart. Look at this. I cannot believe it. Okay.
Oh, are you joking? I think I call it 54 and then I put it at 52 um, because you always have to give it, but uh, I'm going to stay on 52. We are a few ticks away from the 52. We missed on it on one take, you will see. Okay, it's going one more time. There we go. You got filled on 52. And we are lifting. I'm sorry guys, my NT8 is it's giving me a hard time today. I've never seen so many problems come in in one time with one platform. I'm trying to click at the bottom. I don't know if you see me. And I don't have any auto trades running except uh, the, the price action. But it's not. I think, I think the those are making a lot of problems when you are making individual charts, not put them all in one. Uh, that will be less st stress on the NT8 because I notice we've been having a problem with those here. And sometimes it's putting a lot of stress on the NT8 by trying to click from one chart. I mean, if you have an empty chart, you're not going to feel it. But when you have charts open, market analyzer, and things. And then uh, start getting heavy, the NT8. And uh, that is this, you gotta be careful with that. So what I'm gonna do today, uh, I'm gonna be dismissing those here at the bottom. And I'm just gonna make them as individual charts. And then, because I wanna test it, I think this is making a problem by putting all of them in one. Look, when I'm a clicking, it's not responding at all. Uh, let's concentrate on that trade. I called only one trade. I try to, to call one or two trades a day, but I don't wanna sit down all day long and uh, call the trades. And um, the reason is uh, the whole concept here is to teach you uh, find how this market um, when there is a chop in the market when the market is not tradable I like to show you uh, this you know so I don't want it to be a call in the trade uh, things uh, and then uh, you're not going to get anything out of it but I'll try to tell you if you like to follow me on a couple of trades on a sim uh, you're very welcome to it helping some of the guys are really struggling out there uh, giving a little bit back I don't have a problem with that 
but um, uh, um, as long as at your own risk, I'm, I don't have a problem with that. Again, guys, look, I'm trying to click at the YM NASDAQ at the bottom. And it just, they're not responding. They are just actually, uh, there is some kind of problem. Uh, I noticed this when you're trying to put a, a lot of charts in here. Uh, that is uh, causing the ninja trader to uh, get a problem and that it is not good look I'm uh, they're not and they are f they are making the problems so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna delete everything today and uh, I'm gonna make separate charts and then we can bring one at the time because I'm, I'm really suspicious with this one here uh, is causing a problem maybe I'm wrong but my experience for the last few months, uh, those here at the bottom, when you put all the charts, for some reason is putting load on the NT8. I don't know. You're not gonna get a straight answer from no one over that. So um, we'll try to uh, look at, uh, if there is a new signal, I will uh, highlight it for you from the market analyzer. Um, right now we have no new signal. We have 37 ticks uh, on uh, the ES 108 on the NASDAQ based from the last entry signal. And uh, the YM is 117 ticks. Um, it's not letting me the NTA to examine uh, the, the chart. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to open a new chart and see if we can get away with it. I think it's time for, uh, for a clean up on a Ninja Trader 8. Uh, Eventually, they're going to get it right, but I still think uh, it is a very uh, young platform and um, where the NT7 is still, uh, I mean, still, um, I don't know how to put it nicely. Uh, it's been around for many years. So of course, all all the bugs has been cleaned from NT7, and it's gonna probably gonna take a little time before this get clean uh, from all the bugs from the platform. But this is really pissing me off. It's not letting me letting me uh, change um, the chart at the bottom. So I need to open a new chart. Uh, for the ones uh, follow me on that trade. Uh, if you wait a few seconds, maybe I can guide you. Where is the exit? I know where is the exit, but it's making me nervous now. This one here uh, start getting heavy from uh, the bottom here. It's not, that's mean I have a problem when I'm trying to switch chart. It's not letting me, this is not good. So when, when you have, or you notice there is some problems you have, you should not uh, go live anymore. You should see where is the problem coming from. It could be your internet, could be NT8. There is a bug in it somewhere. And uh, okay, there we go. We have the new signal. Uh, for the ones follow me on that trade, I always try to get you 150, 200 on a SIM. So right now, uh, what we need to do, exit at um, uh, 67 area or 66 area, you can exit on those, uh, on that NASDAQ trade. 
I'm trying to uh, help the guys with the trade and at the same time I need help somebody tell me why the chart at the bottom I cannot they are frozen and it's not letting me switch and this is not the first time has happened uh, so today I will be uh, I will be taking them out and uh, to put the charts individually uh, independent from each other I think that is going to sort out a lot of problems. Uh, let's see. Uh, we have. An entry and an exit. The exit on this NASDAQ we called. You can get out at uh, 66 level. Or you can get out at uh, 67 level. But if you wanted to protect. Uh, get out at 66 and get it over with because it's at the very, uh, very uh, high area. Okay, I, I, I tried to open a, a nice deck of chart and it's white. There's not even bars. So I have a problem somewhere, I need to sort it out. The best way to sort it out is to, to uh, delete everything. Could be a lot of data built up or something has did go wrong. Uh, when I, I have a problem, uh, uh, which it occurs every couple months or so. What I do, I delete it and put a fresh one and get it over with. Okay, guys, this is a couple hundred dollars based on one trade. We give it to you. And you need to exit at, I mean, it is amazing uh, that my charts, my technical charts are not. And then I managed to pull out one trade for you. So you will not go empty today. Uh, 66 level guys, call it off, that's a couple hundred dollars. Now you are above 230 and then uh, get exit at 66. Don't get greedy or close the market, uh, market order, but I can drive you to 66 or 66.50 and then the rest is up to you. But this is, is going to be projected from that area, so be careful. Okay, there we go. Okay, we drove you home safely. And um, now I will hear the echo because we have a lot of non-members. They've been um, following me on the CL and the reversals and uh, they've been sending me emails and uh, they are start learning the new tricks with the with the reversals, they never thought they can do that. And uh, trading on the pullback re-entry, they never thought they can do that. And uh, that's what I would like. There we go, folks. Uh, we got you through to $250, $300 on that trade. Uh, the party is, uh, wait, wait. I wish I can uh, look at my charts. Uh, this is over. The party is over on NASDAQ. If you want to go above those numbers, you are taking a high risk. Uh, cash in, you nailed the $300 for free. Uh, we're not collecting your email. We're not collecting money. Uh, we don't know who's out there. And uh, we drove you home safely on that one. And uh, this is uh, $355 on that trade. And uh, my nest, my uh, half of my NT8 is totally jammed, and some is working, some is not. So I'm not gonna be calling any more trades. I have the market analyzer, the scalpers coming from NT7, but uh, my NASDAQ charts are totally blanks on the other screen, and I'm not, uh, and uh, I'm not able to to click between here at the bottom left, if you see me, I'm trying to click and then nobody home with NT8. 
this is a this is time to clean the NT8 uh, totally clean and uh, do a new installation. We have to do that until they get some stability. I don't know. But um, for the ones they are still on that trade, let me see what we can do. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go ahead and uh, get the NT7 NASDAQ. That is going to give me some information. And uh, I can. Okay, guys, for the ones they still on that trade, look, we give you uh, the trade up. Uh, now it's going up to 460 on that trade. Very good. Watch this one here, folks. This is your resistance, 7750. This one, what we have teach, how to reverse the market. And is it out of the band? You see that? It's out of the band. So the secret here is uh, 77, 25 out of the band. If we have a pullback on that NASDAQ, it will be to the mid band all the way to the 64. So this is a reversal area because it's out of the band in conjunction, look at this, in conjunction with the, your uh, $35 zone, you know? And, and if we have a pullback, this is where the area uh, is gonna be for the re-entry is 63.75. So if we notice right now on the NASDAQ, it stopped in here, look. So if you are on the long trade, please stop and exit and take it short. You can. Once you start knowing this market, of course you will have a bad trades or a bad call, but uh, you are like a saw cutting a tree, you know, you can, you can make money. There we go. Look, reversal, reversal, profit, warning, R4, and the market is down, and this is a reversal. Now, let me show you what is going to happen. We have a mid band in conjunction with the projection at 67. I don't want to complicate the trade, and I don't want to start diving into technicals because you're going to get lost. But this is here, if you are an advanced trader, uh, this is a very good potential entry for buy or closing position, if you are taking that reversal, you need to close position here on the reversal. Why? Because this one here is actually a re-entry point, but we don't want to re-enter the market here. Or you can tight up your stop losses or your trailing stop in this area, because now we are diving into the unknown, the 67.75, in conjunction with, uh, with uh, uh, the, the, the mid-band. And this is uh, very uh, important in the, in, the, in the trading. So we, uh, we will uh, try. Uh, it is amazing how we can pinpoint every single movement in the market. And that's what, uh, when you are auto trading and you know what is going to happen, this is where you're gonna be advanced trader. And you can say, today is a chop. I'm gonna wait 10, 15 minutes in the trading or the automated trading. Uh, the whole idea here is not uh, trying to teach you price action or I'm telling you to look at this folks. I'm gonna put one here.
is 68.25. If you take that uh, short, you need to exit at 68.25. Okay, look, look my crosser. This is the final destination of that reversal. Or what you can do, uh, you can uh, tighten up your stop loss because now we are diving into the end node. If this NASDAQ broke that area here, technically we are going to this area here. So this is, look, keep your eye, keep your eye on the 67.75. The whole idea, our aim is to educate those traders that once you have the knowledge, it's like a saw. You can nail this market with the trend. You can nail it with a reversal. You can always find a trend. Even half of my platform on the NT8 is not moving. I still can find a trade and bail out of it. Look at this, folks. Here we go. We've been uh, going live every single day except on Monday for members. For the last three months, we received tons of emails that they never thought anyone can predict like we do, you know. The sad part about it, that sometimes you have a traders, we have showed our system here, uh, we have traders that have been having that system for four years, five years, two years, one year. And they still cannot find a way to make money, you know. And, uh, and um, you know, sometimes uh, the question, is it the system or the driver sitting behind that car? It's not always uh, uh, the auto trade or uh, manual trading, you know, pinpoint everybody except yourself. Uh, this business, uh, anybody can do it if you put your mind on it and if you put the time in it. If you don't put the time in it, you're just wasting your time. You have you have to understand uh, when you trade in potatoes, coffee, oranges, you have to know something about oranges. You have to know something about coffee. You have to know something about potatoes. If you don't do that, then you are one a trader with a blind eyes. You know, the, the, the chances um, this trader is not willing uh, to, to put some time and understand what's going on, uh, you will be buying auto trades for the rest of your life. You know, because uh, those are, those here are mechanicals. Everything is mechanical. It's not uh, magic or voodoo or crystal ball, all of it, one and one is two, two and two is four, four and four is eight. So any anything is not, if somebody doesn't want it to try to understand how things move in this market, uh, the chances you're not gonna make it. Honest to God, you're not gonna make it. Maybe people don't want to know the reality, but uh, you give that system here. We have one guy, his name is Greg. He took that system here and he disappeared. He purchased for it. A couple months later, he come in and um, he tripled his account. Another customer, he have the same system. All what he has to do, follow the NASDAQ entry. I told him just to follow the NASDAQ. He couldn't do it. So when the signal is plotting in there, it's telling you where to buy, when to sell, where is your target? And it was very hard for that person to comprehend. Uh, then uh, maybe it is not trading for him. Does not mean uh, he could be very intelligent with uh, different matters. Uh, you know, um, we all have, we, sometimes we use our left brain and uh, and a right brain, you know, 
they did the test on my children and um, look again one more time we have cell and uh, the problem is not over uh, we still those are your florin fibs and there we go look here's your mid band you see how the market projected okay so So for the ones follow on that trade, uh, you are way overdue if you are stay on long. And uh, you should have took that uh, short trade and exit it out here. That would have put $500 in your SIM account. Uh, on that one here, right now, start getting harder on, on this one here. Uh, I will not take anything. I will not take any action on that. If you took a, a reversal on this one, it's very fine. But then... Um, now the the game is over on on the nasdaq what i will do on the nasdaq now i'll take a break two winning trades doing fine now i'm gonna catch that nasdaq on a different matter now here is your trade on the nasdaq right there at 63.50 why 63.50 now we are in this area here it can go different direction. Now we are playing, um, um, you know, high risk trade in those area here. But now we are coming to the projection. I don't want to deal with that projection. This is not good. So what I will wait, I know where is the stop is at 63.75. So this is where out of the band, Florin FIPS, confirm and support line out of the band. We can reverse the market in this area here at 63.75. So if you are in that short trade, you are. If you're not, uh, then uh, there is a new number. We can enter that market is uh, 63.50 long. So uh, we'll see how things is going to uh, play. And uh, we're going to wait for a few minutes on this one here. Oh, finally, finally, the NASDAQ show me some bars uh, on, on, on the one minute. Okay, thank you. Look, those one here at the bottom, the NT8 is not letting me change them. You see that? I cannot change the chart. So that's why uh, today we need to. Um, so I'm going to leave uh, this NASDAQ trade. And uh, you keep your eye on. Uh, the first column here on the market analyzer when there is a new signal coming up it tells you the entry and the target and look you see what i told you now i don't like this projection you see that i said i don't want this projection now here in those area here it's gonna drive you crazy i don't want to deal with it right now this is a very high risk to trade so I'm trying to, the hardest part, how to simplify that to the trader. So right now, the only time I'm going to deal with this NASDAQ, if it gets down to the 63.25. One of the secret is you should not chase the market. The market should come and chase you. Uh, the market should come to you, but don't let this market make you run after numbers. Uh, you're not going to be missing out on any breakout, you know. So... You never uh, get excited on on the numbers, and where the the most important is where is this market? It's not this bar. It's where is this market? Go with. And um, so right now, the only one I'm aiming at this market to reverse this market one more time, it will be at sixty three fifty, out of the band, and and um, once we get there, we will cover it. Um, 
I'm sorry I'm not uh, able to show you different uh, chart today because still my NT8 is not letting me switch in chart. And um, that means it's time to clean up the NT8 or make a new fresh installation. It cannot be for the last two months it's been working and today all of a sudden it's not working. I have not done anything to NT8 or I have installed anything to the NT8. Could be the database has um, has uh, made some problem. I don't know. I'm not a programmer. But I know one thing, I cannot change the charts at the bottom. And this is not good. This is not good. Um, so that's why um, uh, you should not overload the NT8 like those here. So tomorrow I'm gonna have individual chart, if every chart by itself. I think there is a problem in there. When you load too many, then you're gonna have a problem. Now, probably not, you're not gonna have a problem on a couple of indicators, but when you are putting a, the price action zone, you put a load on it and uh, probably cannot handle all this algorithm. I don't know. So we'll simplify it tomorrow. So it will be much better. Uh, at the moment, um, we are waiting on this NASDAQ to get down to those area. And uh, I'm gonna stay quiet for a few minutes. And um, you are very welcome to follow the signal from the first column here. You will have a signal fire up and tell you the entry and the target. You're very welcome to uh, copy those trades. Uh, right now, based on the last signal, we have 562 ticks in the profit based on one contract. The market analyzer is based on one contract and one minute, and the same story on the uh, uh, on the forex. And you can do the same thing on the stock. You can feed it 100 or 200 stock uh, to automate trade those. So what we are um, waiting on a new signal on the ES. And uh, I'm gonna be a little bit quiet for a few minutes, get a fresh coffee and then we'll continue. Thank you.
uh, for the gentleman, they ask why I need to worry about this stuff. Uh, let me show you something right now. Uh, if you were in that trade, the automated trade took it and you made eight, nine hundred dollars on that trade, whether you are using an ATM or you are using a full automated. But let me show you something right now, what's going on on the Nasdaq. We made money on the way up and we called the trade because I don't want to close this one. My, I'm having a problem with the um, Ninja. And then um, uh, then uh, I called the trade on a reversal and I said to exit here and it did. And then it was another one here, sell. I didn't want to call it, but I said it's going to be right there. Now, if we look at this area here, we have a major support at uh, 4755 and then double resistant. What is that telling me? It's telling me this is not going to get any more. Uh, now we are in trouble with the NASDAQ. And you cannot auto trade it. You cannot manual trade it. It's finished, the NASDAQ. The only time we are able to trade that NASDAQ is by coming out of the band to those major support area. Then you can nail it or you can do whatever you want it to do. Right now, that market is not tradable anymore. That market is finished. Whoever whoever made this uh, $1,000 or $500, look, this market is not going to do anything anymore. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's finished. Um, it's not going to do anything. And watch this market. It's going to drive any trader crazy. It's not going to do anything. Look. So this, uh, it is, uh, if you think about it, for the ones they, they refuse the reality, and uh, they see some people sitting on the corner all day long, and then they come out at night and tell you, here's a chart made 1,000 and a chart 2,000. What well, they don't come out doing the trading hours and showing us, uh, the other charts didn't make it, okay? So right now uh, we have, we have also, we have uh, this auto trade is eating banana, it's not doing well. Welcome to trade it. But uh, uh, here we are doing very fine. We have uh, 540 uh, on on the total. Uh, those, uh, they're all good numbers, especially for the guys. Uh, they have a low account. Uh, I strongly recommend to take one trade ES, one trade NASDAQ, one trade YM. Whether you want to take it manual or auto trade, it will be the same numbers, you know. But what I'm saying is right now on this NASDAQ, no matter what you do, it's going to drive you crazy because it's finished. It's finished. Uh, it's done. It's over. And um, uh, it's not going uh, to, uh, to, it will be a couple of bars up and a couple of bars down. And that is going to drive you really, really crazy. Uh, so, Look, now I cannot even, I cannot even, uh, okay, there we go. We are coming to resistance line here. And uh, the next stop, it will be the 96. I'm sure it's going to die on the way up. There is not way uh, this NASDAQ is going to able, probably, but uh, I don't see how the NASDAQ is going to come up to the 96, honestly. Yeah. And um, this is going to drive you crazy. This is, look, there we go, look. And understanding what's going on, it is a key factor in the, in the trading. So if uh, I wanted to auto trade and I come in right now, this situation is going to happen to you at 8 o'clock. 8.30, 9 o'clock, 9.30. Uh, look at the chart before you decide you want to trade, auto trade. Don't just uh, turn on your auto trader blindly and and um, and um, expecting some magical things going to come out. If we look uh, on the reversal, uh, here's your ABCs, and now it's and your ABCs, and now it's going... Uh, for a dive, 
and uh, we'll see where we'll take it as it comes in now all the numbers are off you know so we will see what will happen now there is nothing but a chop in this market uh, if we are I cannot get those to work, uh, the ones at the bottom. I cannot uh, get them to work. That's mean I need to reinstall NinjaTrader and put a fresh installation for some reason. Um, so, oh, okay, it just moved. I never thought I will be having a problem in a platform, really. I'm not used to that. Okay. If we notice how we took that trade from the bottom, I cannot, I cannot move anything anymore. Um, so we I think I will be using the NT7 till the last day. Ninja Trader provide NT7. Let's see if this market gonna make it all the way up. I doubt it. We'll see. If you notice on the Forex, nothing is working on the Forex today. We have the Forex based on 10,000 and it seems like the market is on the Forex, a lot of chops, so we'll see. You see, look at the NASDAQ. I said, I doubt it is gonna come all the way up the market is dying on us. This is going to drive any any trader um, crazy. It's failing. It's failing, folks. It's going to retest uh, the 7875. We'll see. It's struggling. There we go. We are coming to that line. And if we break that line, that's me. We are going to farther down. Let's see. Let's look at 79. 
the 79 level, 78.50 if it's going to hold. Look, guys, how we call that trade from here. You see that? You don't see any more V shapes in the market or M shape uh, or, you know, W shape. You don't see those anymore in the market, the V shape. We used to trade them like a crazy, uh, the V shape. But now, because of the internet and uh, the, the, the prices has moved out a lot because of the internet. But we don't see that very often anymore on the, the V shape. And we nailed it right at the very bottom of it. And uh, we should have exit right there. But now you can see uh, the NASDAQ is dying on us. We know that, you know. If you want to reverse this market, now we are getting to a lot of a chop out of the band, but there is a heavy support line and there is a three support line. And now it's a big mess. It is a big mess. And that's why the one minute is a very clear picture. And it is one big mess to trade the NASDAQ at the moment. It's a very critical area and um, if you are coming to trade or auto trade the NASDAQ right now, you will have a problem. We have a new signal on the 6E. If somebody trade in the 6E, we have a new signal and uh, the entry by uh, 59.40, target 0, 60.30. So we should have have this one here also on the Euro dollar. Okay, the uh, the Nasdaq is diving, so that's why we said uh, there is no more trade here. It's gonna drive you crazy. This one here, the dot is coming from your fibs, your thirty five dollars fibs, and this one here is a reversal has been confirmed. You see, this is the turning around in the market, and now it's telling you the market is turning around. So this dot here is a reversal, is calculating your ABCs and uh, based on alpha waves. And uh, this is where it's uh, confirming uh, the party is over to the long side uh, on the NASDAQ is finished. Now we are going to the different run. Let's go back on the reversal chart, we can see we had a sell entry. I was not sure this one here, those lines, they're gonna be able to penetrate it. And I'm still not sure, but that's why now the market is uh, very critical and a chop. And this is where most of the traders start losing money on the NASDAQ, whether you are automated or you are uh, manual trading uh, for the last 15 minutes, you will never, able to make money whether you are auto trading or manual trading on the nasdaq right now now it could be one guy is a you know blind eye he can take a long and gonna be nailing a hundred tick but it does not mean tomorrow is able to do that but technically it's no longer tradable now if a guy came in out of the blue moon and he took a long here he might make a hundred tick yeah but on a high risk, a hundred take is not a, 
hundred uh, percent. I mean, it's not at least there is a percentage in it. But uh, should I touch the Nasdaq in here? Nope, it's finished. It's over. Look. So the minute you take a long, this market is gonna go the other way, and now you are guessing: is it long or short? It is to sit on the side and wait till we have another door uh, to trade, or if you don't want it to do, look at the bars. You just uh, the signal has told you where to enter. You nail 213, 200, 150 takes doesn't matter. You're done for today. Because if you're gonna sit on this poker table rest of the day, you're gonna lose money. Now, if you wanted to continue trading and you are trading the NASDAQ and you are feeling good about yourself, you nailed over a hundred take for today. What you need to do, wait on the new signal. It's no longer tradable uh, to go long in here. And it's not in, in anything to touch this market anymore. I will not touch this market at any price. Uh, and then uh, you just wait on the new signal uh, to come out from the market analyzer and you follow it. But you cannot, you know, sometimes, um, uh, you know, win it all, you know, let it be this one, let it be. This is nothing not, but just noises, let it be. You know, maybe it's gonna go up all the way here. You know, there is uh, some guys playing us over there, those market movers. Maybe it's coming up here, but for you, this is not your area. For you as a retailer, now this imaginary movement, false movement, fake movement, technically, you should not be playing with that anymore. Uh, now, if you wanted to trade this one here, you have to find another alternative where everybody trying to suck in to this game and trying to go long in this game. Now what you need to do to find a short entry and I will try to find you short entry on that one. When everybody on this wagon with this one here, let them, let them go on this wagon and then we will take it from up to the down. And uh, But technically, <laughs> You should not be taking those trades anymore above those lines where we showed you minutes ago. So now uh, let's look at this game. Uh, if we are looking at the NASDAQ, we are coming in out of the band at 93.25. And now what we need to do, a close open position Ninety-three twenty-five. Let me see. We have the ninety-six. You can close position here and close position one more time. If Ninja Trader will let me, so it's a close position, open position. And then I will make one more sell position here. And then I will put a stop loss above those lines here, you know. But uh, let's open a close position and then. Oh, Jesus. Open a clo uh, close position, open position. It's down, folks. It's down. I really, really uh, missed uh, to sit down alone uh, and and. Um, And because when you when you when you trade and you have to have a clear head 
I can sit down and enjoy it really. Um, and when I look at the chart, I forget everything, you know. And it, to me, it is. Is a game I have I have played it for many years and um, I'm always thinking. Let's see what will happen here. It's a closed position, open position. So the bar came in in there, but I was slow to take it. But uh, we'll see. It's going to climb one more time. I tried to put the sell order, but uh, because I'm having a problem with NT8, it's causing, I need to delete my NT8 and put it in a fresh installation. Seems like we're gonna miss it. We are going to miss it. Okay, we're gonna stay a few minutes and uh, trying to see if we can uh get at this market Phil there we go It's coming.
it's finished. If you cross this line, that's it. You still have more? I should have put that short at the second line, but I, I cannot do anything on the charts. But this is one, this is your second, and then above it is the stop loss. But it's not going to work this way today. I cannot move any of my charts. Okay, we close this one. It's not gonna work. Eleven fifty two. Well, folks, that's all what we have for today. And uh, I'm sorry I couldn't get uh, some of the tra uh, the charts to move. Uh, for some reason, Ninja Trader is a jamming on me, and I cannot switch between charts. And it's a freezing on me when I'm using those in one. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to separate them tomorrow, and we'll continue tomorrow but for today there is no use to sit down and um, half of my uh, nt8 is giving me a hard time today so it's time to have a fresh installation uh, on nt8 folks that's all what we have for today i apologize for the inconvenient and uh, we'll see you at the same time 10 o'clock uh, tomorrow uh, Eastern time, 10 o'clock Eastern time. God bless you all and uh, see you. Thank you for watching and see you tomorrow. Bye for now.